I'm not really sure how the setup is gonna work. I'm currently in New York City and I got super confused because I post made it from a place called Carmine's. And it says Carmine's on the on the receipt, but the bag. Oh, it says Carmine's. <laughs> the postman was holding it like this and it said Virgil's barbecue and I was like but it was the only delivery person down there, so I was like, is that for me? Oh my gosh. So Carmine's is an oversized, like it, like, it's like one of my favorite places. It might be better in person, because I'm already kind of like looking at the strawberry cheesecake and I'm kind of like. So it might be one of those places that just might be better in person. But, oh my gosh. There's like three desserts and I only ordered one. Okay, whoa. Okay, this is like trippy. Oh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, this might be kind of hard to see actually. You guys need to be up like just a little bit. Should I put you guys on some bread? That might be too high then. This bread looks good. Okay, let me find a thing to put you guys up on. So, I got spaghetti and meatballs, and I'm not, I'm just gonna warn you, I'm not gonna probably eat, well, I eat a lot, but not as much as you might like me to when I'm up. I'm not as much as I like to because. I actually have an event tonight <laughs> and I just ordered a big thing of spaghetti and meatballs because I'm starving. I'm gonna explain the story of why I'm in New York, why we took a private jet at 2 45 in the morning, and why I'm alone in a hotel eating spaghetti with meatballs and not at the actual Carmen's Carmine's place. It's so good. Oh my god, this literally smells like someone just like made this from their house and sent it over. It smells so good. I didn't know how well this would travel or like, you know, carry over, but oh my goodness. I wish you guys could see, I guess you're seeing enough of it, but this is like crazy. Okay. Oh, there's sauce. Okay, it's okay, I'm wearing black. All right, they gave me enough utensils for family. And this is probably enough spaghetti for a family, but I just was really craving spaghetti and meatballs. I was gonna eat like a burger or something, but you know, when you're craving something, just get it. So, wow, this is like a lot. Carmine's is one of my favorites. It's always crowded. There was no reservations. And I was like, you know what? Plus I was getting a little bit of social anxiety. Sometimes like I can't even go out into the world or public because I'm like, I get freaked out. Is that weird? I don't know. I get really weirded out. I oh. um. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I could eat this whole thing right now. So yeah, the shorter your words are tonight. Jason and David and a bunch of the guys are nominated. So I'm the plus one. I'm a tag along. Mmm. <laughs> Oh no, did they not give me the water? I'm so parched. This is like a weird hotel. It doesn't have like, oh no. Eating this pasta is gonna be real challenging without something to drink. I guess I could get room service. I don't even have room service. I ordered a water. So sad about it. Um, yeah, but. They might be eating later. I just was so hungry. Like, I couldn't wait. So. Mm. So I'm eating. Mm. So good. Alright. There's no room service. There's no mini bar. It's just, like, the weirdest hotel I've ever, ever seen. Even the phone doesn't have, like front desk it has i'll show you guys in a second it has like <laughs> just like it's like a rotary phone it's really bizarre oh my gosh this pasta is so good mm. Mm. 
This is what the phone in the hotel room looks like. Mm. Zero for crew, not one for emergency. Press here for bedtime stories. It's so confusing. And no mini bars? That's like, isn't that how hotels make their money? Um, yeah, we, I, this is my first time on a private jet, a PJ. <laughs> no, um, I've actually been offered to take private jets before or like ride with other people and I've always turned it down. Because I'm terrified of them. And when we were driving there, I was nervous. As soon as I got on, when I saw the plane, I got nervous. As soon as I got on, I was nervous. It was just such a nerve wracking experience because I watched so many like biopics of like rock stars, like Aaliyah and Richie Valens and Buddy Holly. I get so nervous of like private planes. I mean, this was a nice one and it was, it was great. But the landing was rough. I get really motion sickness. Mm. But we are here. You guys don't even know. Water. I ordered a bottle of water. I'm like real sad about it right now. And like there's like not really a lobby or like a gift shop thing happening. Anyways, these meatballs are delicious. I'm cutting these up if you guys can't really see or can't tell. Yeah, I wanted to do an in-person. I love in-person mukbangs. If you guys are like an owner of a restaurant or manager of a restaurant, I can come in and do a mukbang in person. I love it. I think the food looks way more appetizing in a restaurant than it does. I mean, mukbang food looks great too, but I think it looks way more appetizing. The thing is, I'm always scared to like film or music or, you know, someone might say something, which isn't the end of the world, but. Also super awkward. We just have someone come over and be like, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm filming. Oh, you can't film here. It's never happened at a restaurant, like filming a movement, because I've only done it once and it was a success, but I could tell they were like. I could tell they were sus. Mmm. be so much better with soda right now so offended I'm gonna have one more bite of this and I'm gonna get into the dessert like I said I don't I've already eaten too much to fit my dress tonight but when in New York mm, really bomb how many nailed this one Okay. I think I should just have some of the bread because it's like here. Wait till you guys see this dessert. Look at this, like a, like a Jesus loaf of bread. It's just so big. Mmm. actually delicious wow so good mm. I need to put this down oh it's so much of it mmm So good. So I got strawberry shortcake for dessert. I'm gonna give me two. 
Maybe it's have water they gave me too. There's no way I can eat both. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're literally in New York for 16 hours. What? I'm so confused by this, but we shall explore this dessert together. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. Right? Taste this bread. This is a weird bread for strawberry shortcake. Hmm. It's a really weird flavor, but. Oh, all the bread's like that. Hmm. I don't really like shortcake. I'm literally here, everyone walking outside. Mm. It's interesting, the, the cake of it, the shortcake is like throwing me off. Here I said I wasn't gonna eat much, just last bite, guys. I got a shot. Oh my god. So good. Mmm. This was fabulous. I need to go find something to drink. I'm so thirsty. I don't think I could drink the tap water. But, anyways, I just wanna do a quick little hot lunch with me. Um, <coughs> I really was craving this. Um, I'm really glad I got it. <coughs> like I said, it's better in person. And some people like to talk crap on Carmine's. I don't know how to pour this bread. Just like one more nugget. Uh, I like fresh. I can find better Italian, but I'm so bad. Oh, it does say two shortcakes. It's so trippy. I feel like I'm in like American Psycho, like Norman Bates is Norman Bates. Patrick Bateman is Patrick Bateman? Patrick Bateman is like gonna come in and kill me. This is like those like New York artsy apartment sort of hotels. It's tripping me out. Anyways guys, I need to go get ready. That was so good. I was so hungry. Thumbs up this video if you don't mind. A little bit of a shorter mukbang. I know you guys like the long ones, but your girl is gonna be already with all this pasta and bread but same issue was said on Stephen Colbert the other week she goes I don't trust people that don't eat carbs she I eat carbs they have that pasta and that wine and honestly girl look good so work all right guys I'll see you soon and until next time here my kisses your little baby fishies mm -hmm. bye guys